Are you religious in any way? Yes, I'm a Christian. Okay. Um, do you believe in, the, do you know the history of this school? Nope. Um, so what was your personal experience? I, I don't even want to. That's the point of this interview, Ms. Kyle. Well, I don't deal with demons. I don't like anything scary. I didn't want to do the conjuring too. It was, I wanted to do scream. That's fine, but we did this. Okay, but I didn't want to do this. I don't like ghosts. You never have to come. Um, do you believe in demons? Yes, I do. No, never did. Are you religious? No, but the demons are here because that's how I got the flu in the first place. Yes, I'm a Christian. Would you like some attention? Yes, thank you. Do you know the history of my school? No. It's like, uh, it's filled with demons, right? Um, what was your personal experience with the demon? Um, I had got a report on that this school was supposed to be haunted, so I came to check it out. And I came to this certain classroom inside the school, and a chair just moved out the table by itself. And I didn't think, like, that it could be a ghost or whatever, so I just put it back under the table, and the ghost pushed it again. What the fudge? Yeah, I ran out immediately. Um, well, I was sitting at my desk. He came and coughed in my face. I just felt the air like <coughs> in my face like that. And so I was like, what was that? Because I was in here by myself. And then it happened again. And then I felt immediately my throat started hurting. And so I was like, oh my God, I got the flu from the demons in the school. Terrified, I will never go back there again. So yeah, they call another officer. I'm not going there again, never again. I felt sick, sick to my stomach, and I just, I just felt sick, you know. And uh, I was scared and sick, just scared and sick. I am so sorry. Me too, you know. I just got to drink the tea and clean my nose all the time. It's just too much. Thank got you. boogers. My name is Lorraine Thompson, and this is my boyfriend. Yes, um, I'm the son of Mr. Officer Garrett. Uh, my name is Jimmy Garrett. Do you believe in demons? Yes, I do. Are you religious? Yes, I'm a child of God. Do you know the history of this school? No, not really. What was your personal experience? Do we really have to talk about it? I don't. It's like a. She of, don't like talking about it. I don't. But it's like, you can talk about it though. I'm here uh, next to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was um, I was leaving class and I was going to the laboratory and I just felt this presence on me. It was like something was hovering over me or following me, but I didn't know what it was and it was just it was so dramatic. It was so dramatic. But. I just kept feeling this presence and I kept on walking to the laboratory and then as I hit the door and I opened the door I just felt this whoosh like it slapped me it knocked me to the ground and I was unconscious and I just it was, it was so bad it was so bad Man. I was in the hospital for a week I was out of school it was, it was really bad how do you feel after this what do you mean, how do I feel? Why, what type of question is that? I'm, tr I'm Come terrified. On, no, that, you know, like, why would she that's ask me that? Question, I mean, it's a question. But like, that's you like, why, what type of, how would you feel? Okay, thank you. My name is Francisco Javier O'Neill III. What do you do? I am the local priest here at St. Xavier McDowell Wachowski. Why did you go to ministry? Actually, I just kind of fell into it. Uh, I have a long line of uh, family that's been in the religious field. Um, I didn't really get into it until one of my own family members was possessed and I saw the uh, exorcism take place and I noticed that this was my call and that I don't have to pay taxes. What made you come to this school? There was reports that there was a haunting here. 
So I wanted to find out if it was just a haunting or a possessed school. So there's two different things between being haunted and being possessed. So a space that's possessed is actually possessed by demons, so it's evil. Hauntings is usually people who are used to be living but have not crossed over to the other side. So they just need help. So now I'm setting up cameras because I'm also a paranormal investigator all over the school based on the reports. And then I will find out if it's a haunting or a possession. Feeling y'all come up, creep up at night. But when I creep up at night, ain't nothing going right. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. This is my house. Been living here my whole life. I was born here. I was raised here. My grandma. I also found out about possessions within some of the students, and I'm going to figure out if that's true or not. Do you know personally any students who are possessed? There are reports of a student named Janet, a senior here. Um, I wanted to see if it is the actual demon that used to live in that building, because I heard that it was built on a cemetery. All right, so that used to be an old Catholic school, and there is this, the legend has it that I heard there is this nun that used to be a guy, or a guy that used to be, wanted to be a nun. I'm still trying to figure that out, but I'll let you know as soon as I figure that out if that's the right demon or not. Hi, what is your name? Hello, my name is Janet. Um, I was in school and I was going to the bathroom and when I was using the bathroom I heard a knock on the door. But when I looked it was nothing there. And then when I came out the bathroom to wash my hands I looked in the mirror and I thought I saw something, but it was nothing there. And then, once I looked up again, it was something there. So I went to chase it and it disappeared. How did that make you feel? It made me feel scared. Do you hear voices sometimes? Yeah, I kind of hear it now. What are they saying? Janet. 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 Janet, you're sitting on my dang jacket. As I continued to research about this demonic nun that was haunting the school, I found out that the evil spirit was known as Sister Eddie Shanklin. Sister Eddie was born in 1879 in Chicago. He was a voodoo priest that was angry at the Catholic Church for destroying his local congregation. He vowed vengeance and wanted to destroy the Catholic religion from within. He sold his soul to the devil and was able to disguise himself as a nun to infiltrate a local Catholic school. Once inside, he would start conducting spells and rituals. Once the Vatican found out about this, Sister Eddie was caught and never heard from again. He cursed the church and the school and said he would return to cause havoc. The event was documented April 1909, back when this was a Catholic school. So I did a blessing and spiritual cleansing all over the school, and the hostile demonic activity ceased. Everything seemed to go back to normal.
I received a call from the school and Janet's parents. They informed me that Janet was acting outside of her normal self. Oh man! Oh! Oh man! Oh! Oh man! Oh! Oh man! Oh! Apparently, the demon possessed her body while I was cleaning the school and hid inside her until I left. I had no other choice but to come back and do an exorcism on Janet. Janet, it'll be over soon. I'm gonna count backwards from 10. After 10, you will be in a trance. Ready? In 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awake. What is your name, demon? Bill. 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 Well, Bill, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Are you going to leave Janet alone? <laughs> you leave me no other choice. We could have handled this the easy way, but no. Alright, I'll leave her alone. I don't want her anymore. So the exorcism was a success. Janet, how do you feel? I feel great and renewed. Thank you, Father O'Neill. No problem, my child. I'll send you my bill in the mail. <laughs>